So today, I think we're going to talk about product photography, and more specifically, uh, iced coffee. And the reason for me doing iced coffee is because I was drinking it already, so I thought I might as well, you know, have some fun with it. And uh, why not take you along on the ride? So I want to show you the evolution of when I take a photo, and how it starts in one spot, and then kind of evolves, like it kind of snowballs into the final product. So your typical setup is a center framed cup, probably branded, and then you pour some coffee into it. And then cream or milk or whatever. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's actually pretty interesting. However, I want to take it to the next level. I want to include some elements into the foreground and background. What I like to imagine is the viewer's eye kind of wandering around the photo, looking in the foreground, in the background. You know, everything kind of leads towards your center image and that's your focus. So there's nothing wrong with this photo. I actually quite like it. However, there's not a whole lot of color involved in the photo. So, I mean, you have the wood grain chopping block that everything's sitting on. So why don't we kind of experiment with those earthy tones. I have this little Ikea plant. It's a fake plant, but you know, it adds that green color. Now the one side of the photo weighs a lot more than the other side. So to balance it out, we need something of similar kind of weight or size. So what I decided to do is to put a coffee crap, crap? Is it, is it craft or pitcher or, whatever it is. I decided to put a coffee craft on the wood block, but it kind of fades into the wood block. So what I decided to do is I have a couple of filters for a Chemex that I just kind of laid out and put the craft on top of. Now this kind of adds some other visual elements, some layers, some separation. Now you could just leave it there, but uh, I always like to go the extra mile. So I actually have some coffee beans that had gone bad on me and uh, I just have kept them around for decoration. I know I'm weird. I like a controlled mess in my photo. So what I actually ended up landing on is uh, to spread the beans around, kind of look like maybe your coffee packet like split open in the frame. And then I began to pour the cream into the coffee. Now there's no right or wrong way to do this really. I just think that the uh, second image is a lot more appealing than the first one. Uh, let me know what you think. Maybe, maybe I went a little bit too overboard. Photography is always about having fun, experimenting, trying new things. And uh, we all have a lot of time right now to sharpen our product photography skills. So get out there, take some photos, even with your phone, because like they're fantastic now. Like it's actually scary. Like one day we won't even need mirrorless or DSLRs or anything. But anyways, thanks for watching. See you later. Now what you never see on Instagram is now I have to clean all that stuff up.